All right, you guys, is it just me or is, do you guys find it hard to braid clients hair who wear it short naturally and want braids for vacation? <laughs> I find that to be so funny, but here we are. Um, so what I like to do is I like to do box braids for those shorter areas. So what I do is I hold on to the hair and I separate my braiding hair into three pieces. So I have three legs. And I use my index fingers to push through so that way it allows me to secure the braid and the braid not to slip. Okay, so let's repeat that. So yes, I like to hold on to the hair. Then I take my left hand, I push it through. And then I grab on to the right side of the braiding hair. And I grab hold what I can of her natural hair, take my right finger index and push that through. And I swap them out back and forth until I get a nice grip. And as I'm braiding this, you guys, I am being sure to grip is tight, but not, you know, to where it hurts, but enough to secure it. Okay. So now that I have the hair braided in place, I like to use the braiding hair to hide and tuck away the smaller hairs that I cannot tuck. So I'm going to wrap that braiding hair around those hairs so that way it can look a little bit more cleaner. But you want to make sure you use enough braiding hair so that way it could wrap around those pieces that are sticking out. Now, if you're like my client where she's not going to wear the hairstyle up, she only wants them in so that way she can wear them down. So being that her hair is a little bit longer towards the top, we're not so worried about the back. And if you are a person that is, what you could do is use a little bit of that edge braid gel and smooth out the hairs with that. So with that being said, I'm going to go ahead and complete this row so you can kind of can see what it will look like with someone whose hair is a little bit shorter in the back. Now, the good thing that I like about my braids are being that I start my knotless off with a piece of extension braiding hair, you can't really tell the difference between the knotless and the box braid. 
I'm not trying to say that there isn't a difference. I'm just saying that the way that I start my braids off, you can't really tell that the underneath this box braids and the top is knotless, in my opinion. I feel like it blends very nicely. Um, so that's typically why we do the back the way we do for the box braids, that way they can stay. With the knotless, I'm afraid that they might fall out. So that's why I don't do knotless on those shorter areas. And then also... I can't really grip it. It's a little too short for me. So this is how we look. Um, this is how it looks now that we're about five rows in. So my last two rows, I was able to do knotless braids. And then underneath, it was just all box braids. So now that we made it to the top, she wants to have a side part. So what I did was is I parted, I pretty much did two rows across the back and box braids. And then I did five rows in u-shaped parting for my cornrow um for my knotless braids and then now that i made it to the top i've done four rows straight back to create a middle part so that way she'll be able to wear side part her side part left or right but then she also has a middle part in case she decides to switch it up which i highly doubt that she will because side parts are her jam so since that is her preference, I'm going to go ahead and start laying the braids towards the side part. She already told me which way she wanted it to fall. So here I am making my last knotless braid for my third row. And then after this, I have two more rows to go. so you cannot tell me that these braids do not look good being that we had to sacrifice the back and get us some braids back there so that way we got something back there very much something in my Carisha voice but I mean the braids turned out so nice now we've already dipped them of course that was not done on camera because I had to take her to my dip room which I didn't feel like bringing the whole setup to do that and then after we dipped them in hot water, I did add some Nairobi hair foam and a little bit of braid sheen just to kind of give it, you know, a look. So yes, this is color 33 and we use three packs total to complete her head. And don't forget, you guys, if you want to book an appointment, you can click the link in the description box. I will leave a link for you to book. If you want to follow me on all social media platforms, you can follow me at Irene Sprays. And also, you guys, if you are in Atlanta, Georgia, and you would like to become a real estate agent, Miss Kim Gray, who is in my chair now, she owns her own real estate school. So I will leave a description link, a link in the description box below for you guys to check her out if you would like to book a class. So yes, you guys, until next time, I will see you guys in my next video. Her hair turned out beautiful and she is ready for Jamaica. All right, you guys, thank you so much for watching and I will see you all in my next video. Bye, guys.